Welcome to Stuff and Whiskey. I'm Josh. And I'm Aaron. And we just did a totally blind head to head between these two easy sippers, Basil Hayden and Angel's Envy. Stay tuned to hear what we think when all potential bias from the label is removed. Welcome to the channel, bringing you a real world perspective to the real world whiskey consumer. We're not professional whiskey tasters, we're regular people just like you, but what we will do is we will randomly select one of these matchups from our double blind pool, we'll taste them, we'll give you our completely honest opinions on them. We won't know what's in either of our glasses, but you will, and you'll be able to see that information in the description below. You'll see us discuss the things that matter to us in whiskey, the taste, the price and the availability, and whether we'd buy it again or not. In the end, we'll give each of these pours a real world score, and that is entirely informed by what we find out in our double blind tasting. All right, let's do our random selection. Okay. We got to see what we're drinking tonight. Which pair? So we've got 18 pairs of our sample pool out. Pair six. Number six. So One, five two, is in the middle, six? Six, yeah. Okay, cool. We're going to get these poured. And we'll be right back with our first impressions on glass one. Let's get into glass one. Oh. Super fruity sweet on the nose. I get stinky feet. I'm you sure you're not smelling my stinky feet? I've been getting stinky feet a lot lately. Maybe it's, You've been on stinky feet Maybe it's lately. you or me. Maybe I have stinky feet. Yeah. And that's what I'm smelling. Better hygiene is maybe necessary. No. <laughs> Whatever. Just kidding. Yeah. A lot of, lot of fruity sweetness on this. Not much else. What does it taste like? It's good. It's pretty sharp. It's sharp. It's good. It's like basic. It's very basic. Yeah. <laughs> is that... Yeah, there's not a lot going on. It yeah. really falls off on the back end. Mm -hmm. This isn't our first pour of the day. This is interesting. I don't know. It has like a Asian food. Like a... There's something I'm getting when I swallow. It's like a soy flavor, I think. I can kind of see what you're getting there. I'm getting kind of like a graininess. It's it's pretty bland. Yeah. It's not bad or necessarily off-putting, mm -hmm. but I wouldn't call it good either. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's like fine. It's pretty standard, just kind of general sweetness. It kind of dies off. I don't know if I'd say it has much sweetness. Yeah. The sweetness is coming down, mm -hmm. but what, what you're getting there is like sweet alcohol. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's get into glass two. All right. That, this has more sweet smell. More sweetness, no more richness. Feet. No stinky, no stinky feet. feet. I'm getting like that banana Laffy Taffy. I actually got that. Yeah? Yeah. I beat you to saying it? You beat me to saying it, but I smell it for the first time probably ever. That's more syrupy sweetness and more of a banana sweetness. Well, I really hit home when someone said think of a banana Laffy Taffy or a run, not just like an actual banana. Man, this one just dies too. Yeah. Like there's a better nose on it. Better nose. But on the palate, it's very just mellow and there's just not a lot going on there. I'd say there's more going on, but still not a lot. I don't know. This is like sweet alcohol and this is just like really mellow alcohol. I mean, it's a little tingly for me. Yeah. A little bit. Okay. Not it'll a lot. be it'll be interesting to spend some time with both of these going back and forth, clearing out our palettes in yeah. between, starting with the second glass, going back to the first glass. You've seen our first impressions. We're gonna give these a, their proper due and we'll be right back with our results. All right, after spending some time with these, what do you think? Let's start with glass one. All right, so glass one on the nose got just okay. It was just okay. Uh, also on the flavor, just okay. It was just okay. And experience, it was just okay. <laughs> All right. Glass <laughs> one's really blowing air out of the water, we it's see. pretty just okay. Glass one for me on the nose, just okay. I put caramel corn sweetness. That's okay. about all I got on the nose. Very simplistic. Not a lot going on there. For the flavor, I gave it a thumbs down. Ooh. It was just... Dang, it was Gina. sweet alcohol graininess. There's just not a lot of flavor there. It's just not very good to me. And then on the <laughs> Tell experience, me how you really feel, on the bro. experience, I gave it a thumbs down. I Oh my gosh. This it, is like the worst score in Josh's history. This is the worst score that I've given. It's flat, thin, and bitter 
on the experience. Okay. I just, it's not good. <laughs> I didn't like it. Let's go on to glass two. That's fair. Where are you at on glass two? Okay, so for glass two, I gave it a thumbs up on nose. Uh, it was weird because I smelled like the runts, the banana runts or the banana Laffy Taffy. And then I went back and it kind of had like a bacony smell. I can get that. Yeah. Like it, it like morphed. It was yeah. very weird and I kind of loved it. So I gave it a thumbs up on the nose. Um, it got just okay on flavor because it like, it left me as soon as I swallowed it. Yeah. Um, but it was fine. And then, but the overall experience, I gave it a thumbs up because I liked the kind of the morphing of the smells. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Glass two for me. I gave it a thumbs up on the nose. I said it had a pleasant banana sweetness. It mm. was very pleasant. And there is like an underlying little bit of richness there, kind of like meatiness or yeah. smokiness or something. There's something to me. There. It's more of like a, a caramel, like a mapley sweetness. Yeah. Yeah. I but I can see how like a maple bacon yeah. kind of that's going on in the nose. So thumbs up on the nose for me. Mm -hmm. Flavors mm, just okay. I said that that pleasant banana sweetness carried over, but there's like a sour note there yeah. that hits me that yeah. I don't like. So if that sour note wasn't there and it just stayed sweet, then I would probably give it a thumbs up. But to me, just okay on flavor. Experience, I gave it a thumbs down. It was flat, thin, and it had this drying finish on it that I just did not like. Even though the nose was good, you didn't give it a decent experience? Look, I don't like either one of these, <laughs> okay? I mean, obviously. I don't like either one of these. I like the second glass more. The nose on the second glass is the best thing that's happened in either of these glasses tonight. <laughs> it's true. I'll, I'll agree with you. Otherwise, there. like, I couldn't care less if I ever see one of these again. Wow. I just don't like them. I this just don't is, like them. This is like... News, These are the worst. News, like breaking news, Josh. This yeah. is a very rare time, like experience. I like, I like, I like whiskey. I just don't like these two. Okay, very fair. much at all. That's fair. I guess we should find out what these are. Yeah, let's do it's it. It's time. Let's do a reveal. Let's find out. Glass one is number eleven, okay. and glass two is number ten. Okay. So we'll talk price first. Yeah, we're gonna find the price out before we find out what they are and react to that completely blind okay, first. Okay, so they're pretty comparable in price. So pri so glass 11, one, is 11. about $40. Are you serious? And 10 is 45. Ouch. So comparable in price, but not super cheap either. No. <laughs> like not expensive. I would not, I would not pay that for either one of these. Oh, I, I don't like that I, price on either one of I these. I picked up on that. All, All right. right. Do you wanna find out what they Let's are? Let's hit the button. Let's find out. Glass, glass 11. One. Basil Hayden's. <laughs> okay. And glass two is Angel's Envy. Wow. <laughs> you, you like Angel's Envy usually, right? Um, I mean, we did that smothest bourbon as kind of like a fun thing. And also just it is as smooth. it is smooth and it, is, it, have is, a lot of flavor. it is pleasant that, you know, this makes sense now that little bit of a drying finish I got. Yeah. I wouldn't have guessed these were these, yeah. but that little bit of drying finish I got is kind of characteristic of finished bourbons and Angel's Envy is a finished ah. bourbon in a port wine barrel. Gotcha. So that drying note makes sense. It's flat and thin, checks out. The, yeah. Well, the, and the banana pretty, sweetness is weird though. They're pretty low proof though. Basil Hayden's is 80 proof and Angel's Envy is 86.6 yeah. proof. This so is, yeah. they're pretty low in the proof point, which makes sense as to why the finish probably is just like Bye. Yeah, they're both super low yeah. proof. There's, these are both super approachable. <laughs> I mean, I put flat and thin because to me, that's the experience I get. Yeah. A lot of newbies to bourbon would call these smooth mm. and they would actually really like how approachable these are. Mm -hmm. So that's why we have this matchup in our blind pool is because they're both approachable, yeah. easy sipping, good intro newbie products. So and does that mean that I'm not a newbie anymore because these were too like tame for me? You've graduated. Yes! I'm cool now. <laughs> Real time <laughs> validation that Aaron has taken a step I up am... from the intro bourbons. Yeah. So, I mean, I kind of knew it based on what she likes. Yeah. But this is absolute validation in that. Validation. I just got validation. Yeah. I'm good now. All right. So you've seen in the on-screen graphics, the retail and consumer notes. Those are exactly what they say. The retail is the price and the availability. That's the retail side of the equation. Yep. The consumer side of the equation is whether we buy them again or not. As the consumer, would we purchase these again? Right. So Basil Hayden in our market is about $40 at most stores. 
Angel's Envy is about $45 at most stores. They're both readily available. Mm -hmm. So those are gonna play in into our real world scores. And we're gonna get into that right after this. All right, we do real world scores on a 10 point scale, but it's not your typical 10 point scale where things have to be like a seven just to be all right, and then an eight or above to be any good. Think of it more like a bell curve where most things fall in that four to six point category right in the middle, and they're kind of interchangeable with other products. And then the further away you get from that middle cluster, the more exceptional or the less exceptional a product is yep. for us. Yep, we get our scores by the thumbs you see on the screen. Thumbs equal points. We don't like it, thumbs down. No points for that. Just okay, we kind of like it. Half a point for that. We like it, thumbs up. One point for that. We really like it, two thumbs up. Two points for that, pretty simple. Yeah. All right, so glass one, where are you at on your retail and your consumer scores and your real world score? It's readily available, which is awesome, but I didn't like it. Thumbs down. <laughs> okay, so retail <laughs> thumbs down. Consumer score, would you buy it again? I would not buy it again for $40. I would buy something else, so thumbs down. All right. There are more things I would buy for $40. Yeah, all right. So that glass isn't getting any points from you on the retail or consumer side no. of the equation. So where does that put Basil Hayden for you on real world score? 1.5. <laughs> wow. <laughs> all right. Yes. I wish I could say mine was going to be better, but it's not because oh. for retail score, I'm going to give it a thumbs down on a retail score because the price for what you're getting is a lot of money yeah. and I don't like that. So thumbs down, even though it is available. Yeah. But for consumer score, I am going to give it a just okay because it's not for me. I'm not a big fan of this product, but I do like to keep a bottle of it around for guests because I do believe it's mm. a very good intro See? bourbon. Yeah, I was just thinking about me when I was scoring <laughs> yeah. that. I yeah. was like, I don't want it. I am buying it. Right, right. But I like to keep it around. But That's I don't fair, yeah. I don't buy the full bottle because I don't like it that much. I buy the little 375 milliliter bottles, which you've already seen on the screen. That's what that is. And it's good to have around to intro guests. So is in the that bourbon. the bottle that's $40? The small one's twenty dollars, oh. but we go on the seven hundred and fifty milliliter okay. equivalent okay. price, which is about forty dollars. Okay. All right. Glass two, Angel's Envy. Where are you at on retail consumer and real world scores? I gotta give it a thumbs down, because on retail. On retail score, yeah. because forty five dollars. There's so many other things I like more now that I am graduated and I'm no longer a newbie. Yeah. There are so many things I like more for that price point. You can get rare breed for the same price as that. <laughs> Heck yeah, I know that. You can get new roof single barrel. That's for the same exactly what that. I was thinking when I was saying that. So thumbs down on retail. Yeah. And for that exact reason, as we've already established, I was just thinking about myself when scoring. So I'm not as nice as you. I give it a thumbs down on consumer score because I can get other things I like more for about the same price, maybe give or take $5. Yeah. So I'm going to do that. So where does that put your real world score so for that Angel's Envy? puts my real world score for, at, uh, for Angel's Envy at 2.5. Wow. So... I gave Angel's Envy thumbs down on retail score for the same reasons. Yes, it's an available product and I think that's wonderful. However, I don't like it very much. So <laughs> thumbs down. Yeah. I just, for especially for $45, I'd much rather buy almost anything else. That said, again, I like to have this, I, I like to have both of these bottles around specifically for people who come over that might be newer to bourbon and want something that's so approachable. Yeah. So for the exact same I get, reasons I gave sense. Basil Hayden a just okay, I'm gonna give Angel's Envy a just okay on consumer score. Yeah. And that puts my real world score for Angel's Envy at a two out of 10. Wow. So for me, Basil Hayden, one out of 10, two out of 10 for Angel's Envy. For you, Basil Hayden, 1.5 out of 10 and Angel's Envy 2.5 out of 10. Pretty close. You were just a little bit more generous in the scoring than I was. A little bit. But they, these are both extremely low scoring bourbons for us. Yeah. So let's talk about who these are for. So I think we've pretty much already established that they're not for us being no longer whiskey newbies. Yeah. I'm <laughs> gonna just keep no, now saying she's that. getting haughty. <laughs> <laughs> but I think they are for people who want something not as jarring. Um, yeah. People that are new to the whiskey or people that just don't like a lot of proof. Like, yeah. you can just not like a lot of proof, and that's okay. 
Yeah, you could. And it's fine if you if you are on this level, you're not any less of a whiskey enthusiast. Yeah. It's just a matter of personal preference. And the again, the nose on Angel's Envy was fantastic. It was I could cool. smell this quite a lot and mm -hmm. enjoy every second of it. Start here. Start here if yeah. you're new to bourbon oh, yeah. and you Absolutely. wonder what bourbon tastes like, but you don't want to get your face blown off with a ton of proof. Mm -hmm. And if you like head-to-head -head tastings like this, check out our Patreon in the link below. We've got some blind tasting kits and a couple of tiers there. You get sample jars, you get instructions, you get our scoring sheets that we use here, the whole nine yards. We talk you through the whole process and it's a ton of fun. There's also a other, whole other host of uh, benefits. Yeah. That's what they're called. Just check it out. Yeah, check it out down there below. So this was an interesting day matchup today. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if you liked it, please hit that like button. Give it a good old like. Uh, and also, if you're not subscribed to us, go ahead and subscribe. You can see our videos. We put them out twice a week at this point. And uh, yeah, you'll be notified if you hit that notification bell. That'll also let you know of upcoming live streams. And that is in the video description below as well. Till next week, guys. Cheers. Cheers. <clears throat> some water after these. These suck. <sighs> Tell me how you really feel, bro. All right. So you've seen in the tasting blocks in the the score. Er, all right. So <laughs> <laughs> the tasting blocks. All right. So I'm just gonna say this. All right. <laughs> all right. So. So during. All right. All right. Get it together. All right, so. All right. Let me go. So. All right. All right. <laughs> you can't not say that. Did I do it? You did. That gummit. <laughs> I didn't even I did it's it. like a subconscious. It's a tick. <laughs> Let me go. All right. So. Okay. <laughs>